Today we are talking all about getting a job with the UN NGOs and international organization. I want to get straight into it. Now, I am guessing for a lot of you, this is probably not your first webinar training or seminar to attend. The first thing I want to mention is that if you have failed to earn more money in the past, it is not your fault. There's a lot of information out there and it can be confusing. Many a times that information overload is what leads to confusion and does not allow you to actually succeed. And it's okay. If you have been concerned that in the past that you just can't succeed in employment, I want to put those fears to rest. We just need the right person to be able to explain it to you. And that's what I'm going to do for you today. On the other hand, the uh, society has perpetuated the message that you need to be an entrepreneur for you to be successful. Actually, when you introduce yourself among entrepreneurs as an employee, they look at you as a second hand citizen. Most people, as a matter of fact, are better off as employees. You know why? Because that is where they get the highest satisfaction and also have the highest productivity. The big corporations, the education system, the government wants you to think that you need some fancy college degree for you to be successful. I am here to tell you that they are wrong. They have their own reasons for wanting you to think that, but it is not true. If you have ever thought that the government and the education system wants you to fail, you're probably right. They don't benefit from you succeeding. You know why? Because they want to keep you in debt and in need. The difference with us is that we actually care about your success and truly wants to see you living the life of your dreams. So that is what we are here for. I know you have that dream job, which will give you the highest satisfaction and utilize your full potential. I want to show you how to make that happen during this training session. So my question to you is, are you ready? If you're ready, go into the chat and drop and say, yes, I am ready. Draw it, uh, drop it in the comments. I will be able to pick some of your comments and see people who are ready. I can see some people joining us. They have all the way from India. Uh, so they follow the page and uh, also post a comment. Okay, thank you very much. I can see, I want to ask you, are you ready to get started with this training? If you're ready, drop that in the chat. I can see Edith, you say someone got in a job. Uh, yes, we will be able to tell you that. I can see someone, yes, is ready. Peter is ready. Okay, yes. Uh, she's ready. So, uh, yes, ready. Yes, I'm ready. Oh, they are coming. They are coming. Yes, I'm ready. I'm not even able to pull all of them. But I can see people are ready to go ahead and get jobs with the NGOs because I am about to train you and show you exactly how to make that happen. Now, I want you to imagine this. Yeah, Imagine you go for that interview and after inter getting into the interview, the hiring manager tells you the three magic words that every interviewee is always looking out for that you have been hired after getting that job you work at the end of the month you will receive a pay slip like this now this is in kenya shillings to make it more general just divide these figures by 100 so that it can be us dollars so your basic salary is 180,000 kenya shillings that is about 1800 us dollars house allowance 50,000 medical allowance 25,000 commuting allowance 15,000 and that totals up to 270,000 Kenya shillings per month or 2,700 US dollars. How would make how would that make you feel? Yeah, maybe I can give you a moment to close your eyes. Imagine that hitting your bank account isn't that interesting. So before we get started, this is something that I want to know from you. What does a six figure salary mean to you? Yeah, and I have asked this question to so many people, yeah, and I want you to drop the answer, your answer in the comments, the shortest form possible, because I ask people, some people tell me it's about financial freedom, some is about taking their children to good school, some is about buying their dream car, their dream house, going for vacations. All answers are correct, yeah? It depends. What are you looking out for? And that's why I want to know from you in the comments, yeah? Drop it in the chat and start, let me know. What does a six-figure salary mean to you? Because as we start discussing this, as we start getting jobs with the NGOs and these high-paying jobs, it should be very clear to you why are you going after this job. So I'll wait, check one, and then I will be able to bring it up. I can see Lara joining us saying that uh, she's ready. Welcome very much. 
I can see Vincent also Ogalo saying, yeah, interested. What does it mean to you? A six-figure salary. Someone joining us all the way in Pakistan. You're very welcome. Francis, thank you. Living a comfortable life. Yeah, that will enable you to get a comfortable life. Somebody is about financial freedom. I totally agree with you. Um, okay, they are coming now. So many. Uh, someone, I am a tax consultant, ABA. What does a six-figure salary mean to you? That is what I want to know. Uh, Larry, thank you. Help myself and my family. Okay, this is good. This is good. Yes, it will be able to do all that. And I'm here to tell you there is no correct answer and wrong answer. Whatever you are looking out for, it is the right thing for you. This training, as I was preparing, I was trying to target two types of people. And I hope that you fall in any of these categories. Now, number one, a professional who wants to get a job with the NGOs, the UN, and international organizations. If that is you, that is what you want, then you're in the right place. And the second kind of person I really want to help during this training session is someone with or without a degree, but they are feeling stuck in their career. You know, some people say, oh, I'm stuck because I don't have a degree. I don't have the qualification. If you're feeling stuck in your career, then you are in the right place. And I will just pause here and say this. Yeah, These are the main two categories of people who will benefit most from this uh training session so if you don't follow any of this category i would uh, tell you baby you're in the wrong place you can leave now but if you feel like you fall in any of these two categories hang on in there for the next about one hour one hour 15 minutes i'll be able to show you how you can be able to get there so i thought it is good for me to mention that let's get back to the training and let me tell you this yeah my goal is to show you the only way for you to get a job with the NGOs, the international organizations, even without a degree or master's, is by acquiring what I call the badass pro skills. Yeah, badass pro skills. And the only way you can get these badass pro skills is through a program called the badass pro program. I'll talk about it later on as we proceed. For those of you who are seeing me for the very first time, let me just do a very quick introduction so that you get to know who is this person talking to you this evening. My name is Daniel Mutuku, and I am the founder of Career Point Solutions. Over the last 10 years, almost now 11, I have been privileged to work as a recruiter, in as a career advisor, and also as a personal and professional development coach. And the insights that I've been able to gather over these years is what I am bringing on board today, sharing with you. On top of that, I'm a certified digital marketer by Google. I'm also a member, a very proud member, among other groups. This group called LYP, the League of Young Professionals. I'm also an author, um, author of three, four, four books, yeah? The first one, Facebook for Profit, how you can use Facebook for profit and earn extra income even on a part-time basis. I've also uh, other the book Blueprint for Success, one uh, guaranteed steps to achieving anything. On top of that, I have also published these two books, and they're actually out there for you for free. You can get them. Conquer the year ahead, make the next make the next twelve months your best year ever, and the ultimate cover letter guide. One hundred and one sample cover letters for all professionals. If you're looking for a job, most likely you will need to write a cover letter. So I got you covered right there. No pun intended. Two questions for you for just making sure you are in the right place. As I begin here, I want you to drop in the chat yes if you uh, answer is yes for these two questions. The first question is, will you let me be your coach? Will you let me be your mentor? Will you let me guide you? If the answer is yes to that, you're giving me permission to be your coach. Drop it in the chat and say, yes, yes, I want you to be my coach. Or just the word yes, I think that is uh, good enough and as i i know it takes a while before okay they have started they have started coming in thank you very much i can see mustafa you're saying yes antonio you're also, anthony you're also saying yes there's roxanne saying yes thank you very much oh i can see someone yes yes oh why not ah i like this thank you very much and the second question that will set the foundation for today's conversation will you allow me to tell you the truth the hard truth even if that is not what you want to hear. Say yes in the comment. Actually say yes times two, yes times two, or yes, yes, or whatever way you want to put it. I want to know you are saying yes to both questions because I'm here to tell you the truth. I'm not here for you to like me. You know, sometimes when someone wants to be liked is when they will sugarcoat it, yeah? So I want to tell you the truth. I can see they're coming in, definitely yes. I can see Brian, you're saying yes, you want the truth. I can see somebody saying yes times 100. I like that. 
Oh, first lady, you're saying, of course, you want the truth. Someone say, yes. Okay, where is it? Oh, yes. So, yes, times two. Thank you for giving me that permission because that is what I am going to do exactly in this uh, session. So let's get started. For you to understand, I think it would be better for me to share with you my job search story. Back in 2009, I cleared my schooling and I was now in the, uh, in the process of looking for a job, hitting the tarmac. I was lucky. It took me about one year. In 2010, I got my first real job. According to the Bureau of Statistics, it takes about three, four to five years for a fresh graduate, someone from college, to be able to secure their first job. It took me one year, and that one year felt like forever, right? And I really sympathize and empathize with those people who stay three, four, five years without a job. It's not easy. But then once I got my first job, something interesting happened. In that first year, I got over 10 invitations for interviews. And this is like an interview every month, but I was not securing these jobs. And I wanted to know why I am not getting this job. So what did I do? In 2011, an opportunity came in and I said, I must seize this moment. Like this is my dream job. At that particular point, I was working in Siaya, that is Western part of uh, Kenya, under the Computer for Schools project as a computer tutor. And here in Nairobi, there's an opportunity for an ICT teacher in an international school. I said, I must get this. And when I look back is when I can say I started off uh, this idea of being a badass pro, having the badass pro skills. So how does it work? Typically, you apply for as many jobs as possible. If you're lucky, you get invited for an interview. If the interviewers like you, then they invite you for an interview. They give you the job even if it's not your dream job. But of course, you didn't want, you get it. However, with Paris Pro Skills, these are tried and tested techniques that will give you predictable results. Like you are sure if I do this, I will get this. It worked for me, not only for me, it also worked for Alexander. Take a look at this email I got from Alexander. He told me, thank you. I attended a career presentation last time this Monday. I was interviewed for the position of liaison officer Kenya Airways. And Wednesday this week, I got the job. He got the job. So you can equally get the job. My task now in the next, uh, let me say, 40 minutes is to share with you these two secrets. Yeah. Secret number one, how do you triumph over more qualified and experienced candidates? And secret number two is how to negotiate a six-figure salary, right? Because that is where we ultimately want to end up. Now, I want to ask in the chat, yeah? Assuming we did not have enough time for both secrets, I only had to teach you one. Which one would you really, really want to know? I want you to drop in the chat, either one or two. Assuming we don't have time for both, yeah? And so you have to decide which one would you really, really want to know. Is it one, how to triumph over more qualified and experienced candidates? Or is it two, how to negotiate a six-figure salary? Drop that in the chat, either one or two, one or two. I like playing this game. And if you uh, like, you have noticed so far, I always want to know to keep you engaged. I can see Anna, you're saying one. Anthony, you're saying one. Jemima, you're saying one. I can see one. Roxanne, you go for one. Okay, somebody says here one, 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 one. Who was that? Uh, it has disappeared. Okay, most people are going for one. One. Fancy, you're going for one. Okay, okay. So far, one is seem to be winning the day. Larry, you also go for one. Uh, did I get that? Uh, they're coming so many. I am not able sometimes even to keep pace. Thank you. Thank you. I can see number one seem to be winning the day, but the good news is, oh, I can see a number two here from Dev. You told me you're from India. Yes, you want to know number two. The good thing is we have time for both secrets. We will cover them in this session. So don't worry. I'm glad I picked one to be number one because that seemed to be the most popular. So without further ado, let's get started with this secret number one. How do you triumph over more qualified and experienced candidates? Now, remember I told you I was working in CIA. Then I came for this interview in Nairobi for an inter in, a, in an international school to be an ICT teacher. I was so sure that I was going to get that job after the interview. And when I traveled back, I came in the at night, I did the interview, traveled back to CIA. And the next day, as sure as hell, I got a call from the lady, one of the ladies in the interview, and she told me, Daniel, thank you very much for coming in for the interview. I'm happy to announce to you that we are offering you the job. I was so happy in the middle of the road, almost jumping out of excitement. 
But then that afternoon, something a bit depressing happened because I received a call from the same, same number, the same lady calling me, but this time around, she had some bad news and she told me, unfortunately, we are withdrawing the job offer. I got confused. I asked why. She told me they took my name to the board, but it was rejected on the grounds that this was a new campus they were hiring for. So they needed someone with experience teaching in an international school, and at least with experience taking students through the IECC international exams. I said, wait a minute. I had none of this experience. I had none of this qualification, but yet I was the best interviewee. So how was I able to do it? And to tell you this, you have three seconds to do these three things the moment you get into that interviewing room. Number one, you should be able to show them that you are as sharp as a tack, mentally acute, clever, intelligent, mentally alert. You have your eyes on the ball. This should come straight off the bat. Number two, you should be able to show them that you are as enthusiastic as hell, showing and having great excitement about that role, that specific job you are interviewing and the organization as a whole. And number three, you should be able to show them that you are an expert. You are knowledgeable. You have the skills that are needed for that specific job. These three things should come straight off the bat the moment you get into that interview. Room. You might be asking, how do I do that? Three seconds, that is a very short period of time. Yeah, the good thing that this is a learnable skill. I did not know it before. I learned it. I have shown it to other people and they have actually seen similar results. Take a look at this email I got from Brian who said, Dear Daniel, I'm grateful for your service and I would like to give you feedback. The CV helped me get five interviews. Who get five interviews? This day and age, yeah? Three finance assistant position, two finance officer position. Lucky enough, I managed to secure the finance job which I'm starting in January. Find the touch, the JD, update my CV. He got the job. Another one here, Chip Crew, is saying, Dear Daniel, thank you for always sharing how to answer questions in an interview. In the beginning of this year, I secured a job that I have been dreaming, a dream job, yeah, to be a registry officer. Now I am one. Thank you and be blessed. Another even happy customer here saying, Jane, thank, uh, thank you guys for writing my CV in a professional way. I secured myself a job within a few months. I am happy for the results. My current employer was so pleased by my CV in such a way I cannot explain. I went for four interviews and yet we matched the best. Thank you, guys. You can see how it works. Yeah. Probably these are some of the questions you have at the back of your head. Actually, when I sent an email asking you to give me some of your questions, these are some of the questions that I got. Yeah. Hello. Uh, somebody asking, how long does it take? Let me tell you this. This is a marketplace and you're paid for the value that you bring into the market and you're paid for the value that you are as an individual into the market. It takes time to build up the value, but unfortunately you're not paid for the time, but you're paid for the value. So focus on the value. Somebody asked, what about office politics? Office politics is not going anywhere, but I can teach you how you can use this office politics to your advantage. Yeah. How do I convince the management that I'm the right candidate? I'm due for promotion. I can take up more responsibilities. As a matter of fact, this is the wrong question. It's very hard to convince someone. But I can teach you how you can be able to influence the management because influence is a learnable skill and you can use it. Do I need to quit my job? Most of the time, no. The opportunity is right there where you are. But if you have to quit your job, then I can show you these are the red flags and then you say, yeah, that meets it. Is it possible for me? Yes, very much possible for you. It worked for me. It worked for Alexander. You saw, was it Brian? There was Chip Grui, there was Jane. All of these people, it worked for them. Why not for you? So I want to say this with a lot of conviction, right, that it is possible to triumph over other candidates who are more qualified and experienced. And I want you to repeat that after me. Yeah, I want you to repeat that after me. Can we say it together? If you can say it out loud, please do. If not, just say it quietly, but with a lot of conviction that it is possible to. OK, it is possible to triumph over other candidates who are more qualified and experienced than you. Yes, very much possible. Is that OK? I am happy to hear uh, that. Now, before I go to secret number two, before I go to secret number two, I want to ask, are you finding value out of this session? Yeah, let me pause here. Actually, I'm checking up on you. As you have noticed, once in a while, I will want to get feedback from you. Just drop me the chat. Are you finding value? Just say value, value or say, yeah, it's OK. We are good. I'm learning. I'm getting inspired. I'm motivated. Anything. 
yeah i want to check out you before i go to the next secret just to confirm that you feel like you did the right decision to set up time to show up for this webinar to show up for this training you're getting something that is of value oh very good thank you i can see a job saying value yeah you're getting value uh someone say it's uh okay where is it going yeah it's okay keep going i can see someone say value louis okay louis where is yours before it disappears okay somebody saying he's been impaired i'm learning thank you very much somebody roda there's another one said great value value okay i'm learning isaac thank you very much thank you very much i think this is just number one to validate i'm not wasting my time and number two i'm not also wasting your time because i believe it is also very very important somebody is saying they are motivated thank you very much motivated and also enthusiastic thank you edith wonderful uh that who was that yeah learning okay thank you thank you for the feedback and i think it's a good thing that you decided to join me here okay Moving on to secret number two. How do you negotiate a six-figure salary? Yeah, I'll tell you this. When I was doing research for this uh, session, I came across this study that was done by Jobbite. And one of the statistics that really impressed me is that 84% of salary negotiations always result to a higher pay. I say, this is good news. Let me try to interpret it for you. If you go to try and negotiate your salary, chances of you getting it is very high. Yeah, 40, 84%. But then the next piece of statistic, a bit depressing, is that only 14% of employees actually negotiate salary in their current jobs. So my question to you, have you ever tried to negotiate salary in your current job? You know, most people think it's a matter of going, when I'm going for an interview in another company there, that is when I do the negotiation. So I want to know in the chat, have you ever tried to negotiate for your salary in your current job? So you say yes, no. Uh, if you say yes, maybe you can say, yes, it was good, or yes, it went bad. Yes, positive, that means you got that salary increment, or yes, no, things are negative, things went bad. Yeah, okay, I can see uh, already the answers are coming in. Somebody has said, no, I haven't. Rajab said, no, I haven't. No, that is the, someone else saying, no, I haven't. Okay, so this statistic here is uh, true, yeah? Most people don't, oh, Aiden, you have. Was it good or bad? How was the outcome, yeah? Okay, I'm seeing so many no's. No, 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 no. Oh my God. Uh, so in other words, this statistic might be uh, true, yeah? That most people don't actually try to negotiate salary in their current position. So let me give you some hints on how you can be able to negotiate and actually get it to that six figure salary. It starts with you having the confidence to go and try and have that discussion. Anyone who is confident enough to try usually succeeds. It starts with the confidence of starting, right? Brace yourself. Go try. But I don't want you just to go and try blindly. I want to give you some tips that will really help you to get it going. Tip number one, and this might be so simple, you might want to visit a tip really. Yes, you need to know the salary that you want before you start negotiating. Many a times, I mean, that negotiating table, someone says they want more. I ask them, how much do you want? You know, I want more. I don't know. Right now, you're earning 50,000. I give you 50,000 and a shilling on top. Isn't that more? But you, you understand what I mean? I don't understand. You need to be very clear with the figure. Is it 50? Is it 80? Is it 100,000? But again, this figure should not just be drawn from thin air. It should be a figure that is representing your value. So the question is, do you know your value? Do you know your worth in this marketplace? Now, once you're clear about your value and what you want in this marketplace, the second tip is to make the company realize your value. Don't assume they know. You need to bring all and any evidence you have to, to actually present your case and say, this is what I'm worth. This is what I've valued. I should be getting it. Let them know your worthwhile. Let them know your meaningful contribution. What is it that they stand to lose? Because when you... I, trying to negotiate and say I've been here for the last 10 years. Okay, what have you done for us in the last 10 years? Or have you just been a liability in the last 10 years? You should be able to show that you are, you have been an asset, not a liability. And number three, you should be able to use comparables to justify your higher salary. Do you know how much someone like you in your position, like in your course, in your 
industry with experience just like you, with the same qualification like you, how much should they be paid on average? Because there are tools that will help you get these figures. Yeah. If you don't know what to uh, like, what are the comparables? It becomes very difficult to justify. I want you to look at this email. This is an email I got from Julius. Yeah. He told me, greetings this evening. I'm writing to appreciate your work. It is barely two months after I used your review CV. I am glad that I have landed two jobs. I have taken the one I prefer. I am working towards completing my course, m and Monitor Evaluation. That is a course we offer here at Career Point Solutions. You are the best. Kind regards. Uh, you're sincerely. Now, have that thought in mind. Here's another one from Lawrence. He says, I am happy to inform you that after you guys reviewed my CV, I received three different calls for interviews within a span of 24 hours. Within a span of one week, I attended all the three interviews. I secured, um, I attended all the interviews and fortunate enough, I secured all the three jobs. This was after a pregnant search for a job for one whole year. I only had the difficult task choosing which one to go for, but eventually I opted for one and politely and professionally declined the other two. Thanks a great deal. And please convey my gratitude to the entire team. Question to you. The other guy got two jobs, had to pick one and let go the other. Lawrence here got three jobs, had to pick one and let go the other. So my question to you is, imagine you have two, three, four job offers and you have to pick one and let go the other. What would be the deciding factor? What criteria will you use to decide? I'll go for job A and I'll let go job B. I want you to drop that in the chat. Yeah. And then we. I, I want to see. I don't want you to be very frank. Yeah. I don't want you to be just modest. You know, there are some people who are modest who will say some modest stuff. Tell me today, I give you three job offers and you have to pick one and let go the other. What will you use to decide? Drop that in the chat. Uh, contact. Okay, I don't understand. You nailed it on the head, Anthony Munda. I like that salary. Most people make the decision based on the money that they are going to be paid. And there's nothing wrong with that, by the way. Let me mention that, yeah? And that's why I'm talking about salary negotiations. I have seen a question here from uh, after this. We are all negotiators of our salaries. Okay, thank you very much about that, yeah? I can see somebody else. Lewis is also talking about the salary. Okay, Mohammed, you're being modest. You're talking about work environment, but I know it's also important. Roxanne. Salary, benefits, location, good. Salary, that is salary. Okay. By the way, there's nothing wrong going for the salary because most people make that decision based on a salary. This was this is a study that was done by Finance Online and they found out the most important consideration in accepting a new job offer. 49% is about the money, the compensation. 33% about personal development, professional development, and the other... 29% is about work-life balance, which I think is very important. I'll talk about that, in the, especially in this day and age. Yeah? So the first, the third, second thing I want to say with a lot of conviction is that it is possible to negotiate for a higher salary and get it. Yeah, I saw uh, Elizabeth, you say everybody is going to negotiate for one. Yes. So can we say this together Yeah, with a lot of conviction? I want you to say this with a lot of conviction in your heart. Let's say together that it is possible to triumph over other. No, not, that's the other one. It is possible to negotiate for a higher salary and get it. It is possible to negotiate for a higher salary and get it. It's just how you go about it. Is that okay? Oh, one with uh, offers uh, growth. Okay, I can see somebody else still saying salary figures. Yes, Isaac, and that is very much okay. It is possible for you to negotiate and get it. Now, let me say this. Some more questions from you. Now, in regards to this, yeah, somebody asked me, how do I negotiate? or how do I network with the right people? I want to tell you this, according to LinkedIn, 85% of high paying jobs are gotten through networking. And so it is very important for you to network with people who are going to support you, people who are going to give you these jobs. Yeah, yeah, they might be advertised, but a job referral is highly likely to get that job rather than anybody who just applied randomly. What matters most? Is it experience or qualification? Okay, when I see this question, these are some of the questions that really gets me out of shape. Remember when I said I will tell you the truth, the hard truth, even if that is not what you want to hear? And you said yes to that. This is that part. There's nothing that is more important than the other. Because when someone asks this question, what is more important? They're looking for a scapegoat. They're looking for a way not to take responsibility. They're looking for a way to blame or complain. You know why? 
Because if I tell you qualification is the what is more important, like, yeah, I'm not getting this job because I don't have the qualification. I don't have a degree. I don't have the master's. If I tell you this experience, which is more important, like, yeah, I'm not getting these jobs because I don't have experience in that area. I'm fresh graduate. I'm just starting off. Where do I get the experience? Stop looking for an excuse. I'll tell you this now. This is more important than the other. What is more important is what you have. If you have the qualification, use it to your advantage. If you have the experience, use it to your advantage. Stop comparing. Stop looking for a way to complain. Now we clear. Hopefully you're good, yeah? I'm doing this with a lot of love. I'm telling you the truth. With a lot of love, yeah? How do you balance work and personal life? I think this is very important, yeah? Especially when you start getting these NGO jobs, these high-paying jobs, more will be demanded from you, more time, more effort, and you really need to be very deliberate in terms of how do you create time for your own personal life and actually having even boundaries, which is very healthy, yeah? Am I too young? Am I too old? Same question, same thing. Being honest, brutally honest with you, it doesn't matter. I'm in a conference, I finish talking. Someone, a young man comes, tells me, I think I'm not getting this job because I'm too young. Same breath, a lady comes and tells me, I think I'm not getting this job because I'm too old. So the question is, which is which? Age is just a number. Stop using age as an excuse because I believe there are jobs that are out there for young people who are at the entry level, and we also have jobs that are out there for people with experience. You call yourself old, but I see that as experience and to some transferable skills, irrespective of which field you are in. How do you present that value? It's not about age. Very far, very true. There's the truth, yeah? And I want to remind you, I'm telling you this with a lot of love, yeah? Look at this email here I got from a gentleman called Bill Chan. He told me, thanks. I recently landed my first consultancy with a few Kenya after heading to a well-laid out youth-friendly address. Now, he calls it youth-friendly because it worked. This is a gentleman who is older than me, but did it matter my age? No. What matters was the results. Did he get the job? Yes. I know some of you are like, I'm too old. This is a young man, very young. It doesn't matter my age. Am I able to give you the results? That is what matters. How do I measure, track, and evaluate my progress? Now, it is so sad. When I see some professionals, like five years, three years, four years down the line, only for them to realize that they were in the wrong career path, career direction. I'll give you tools. I'll talk about tools that you can be able to use to track and evaluate your progress so that you don't find yourself in such a situation. How do I fix myself in the succession plan? I like this because, yeah, some people say our company has a succession plan, but then what I'm about to teach you is how do you influence yourself through the succession plan? They'll be wondering, how did this person get here? We actually are the one who selected him. Yeah, but you fixed yourself through influence. And that is a learnable skill that you're going to do that. Um, Edith, I can see your question. What about those jobs with age restriction? Stop putting yourself in a position where you will fail. If a job has a job uh, age uh, restriction, and you don't fit into that criteria, stop stressing yourself about it. It is not for you. If it is an entry job and it is asking for people who are between, I don't know, 20 to 25, it's okay. Let them do that. You are outside that criteria. Move on. Look the one for the one that is within your uh, uh, or your age bracket. So the point here is you shouldn't blame your age for not getting the job, that I'm not getting the job because I'm young or I'm old or I'm whatever, whatever you fall in that, yeah? Because if they have said we want people between 25 and 35, that is a job for those people. If you're not in that category, move on. Look for the one that fits you. Are we together? Oh, I can see somebody talking, saying, yeah, learning a lot here, uh, first time. All right, thank you. Thank you very much, Vincent. It did. Have you got any value? Do you understand what I mean, yeah? So I'll pause here to uh, maybe wait yeah, I can see somebody say, yeah, it's very clear, very clear, very clear. I like this. I like this. Now, let's, uh, there's another question here. What are the qualities of a person who is worth six figures? Oh, good question. Badass, I talked about, it's an acronym, yeah? Those are the six qualities. I'll talk more about that in a short while, yeah? How do I get started? Thank you very much for the question. I'm about to show you how you get started right away in a short while, yeah? So let me say this, yeah? If I show you exactly how to get your dream job, 
do you believe that you can get that job with an NGO and the UN? That's a question I'm asking. I'll pose. If I show you exactly how to get your dream job, do you believe that you can get a job with NGOs and the UN? If so, I want you to drop in the chat and say, I believe. I believe because it starts with a belief. I can see Edith, you're saying, yes, thank you. I'm glad that you have uh, got at the point. Levis, you're saying you're learning. So my question is, do you believe? I want you to type, actually, I'll pause here. I want you to type the word, I believe, I believe. Yeah, Anthony, I can see you're saying yes, but it's more powerful when you put it across, yeah? I can see somebody here say, yes, um, you need to believe. Thank you very much. Yes, I can see, I believe from Golden. Rhoda, you're saying, I believe, I believe, I believe. Okay, they're coming in now. I'm confident. I I believe, absolutely. Thank you. I believe. Oh, yes. Andrew, actually, let me tell you this. Khalid, I believe. It starts with a belief. If you can't believe, it's very difficult for me to actually do anything for you, to help you. Very difficult. I can see they're still coming. I believe. Julius, thank you very much. How about I believe? I can see Ajmir, Ajmira saying, I believe. I believe. Yes, Larry, I can see you saying, I believe. Thank you. I'm actually pausing because I want to give you time. to so actually, this is the first step in manifestation. This is the first step for you saying, yes, I believe and I will go for it. I'll do what it takes because without your belief, I can assist you. I can put in the time, but it won't work for you if you don't believe. It starts with you believing. Yes, I believe. That is Lewa. I appreciate that. Joel, I can see you saying, yes, I believe. Oh, this is good. This is good. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. Yeah. Now, I have to take... I want to ask for your permission, yeah? Is it okay for me to take about 10 minutes, tell you about this program called the Badass Pro, I define my own destiny, and how it's going to help you to get to these jobs with NGOs and international organizations? Is it okay? So if so, I want you to drop me the chat and say permission granted or yes, permission given. The shortest thing you can write, yeah? I don't want, again, you to type so much. So I'm actually pausing here to ask for your permission is it okay for me to take about 10 minutes? Uh, tell you about this program called the Badass Pro. I define my own destiny and how this program will help you get these jobs with NGOs and international organizations. Because I believe this is what really will move you to the next level. Then after that, we're still in good time. I'll be able to answer any questions you might have. Uh, I can see granted. Thank you very much, Edith. I can see Rhoda, you're saying permission granted. Lewis, permission granted. Uh, permission granted that is uh, when I can maybe not pronounce that very quickly yes I believe thank you very much I can see Mohammed you've given me the permission oh permission granted okay I think that is good enough Roxanne thank you also for your permission yeah let me then take because I respect your time I also want to take the shortest time and then I answer all the questions that you might be having now the program I am a badass pro I am very proud to say that I am a badass pro pro stands for professional and banners it's an acronym these are the six qualities that are needed for you to get this kind of job number one an individual who is bold audacious courageous they will do what needs to be done to go to get the job finished right number two an individual who is authentic they are true to themselves they are true to their potential they know what they are capable of and they go for it you know most of us actually live below our potential it's because we don't want to really go for read. Be authentic to yourself. A person who is driven, they are motivated. They have that inner motivation. They don't need to be constantly supervised. That is the kind of person they need. Someone who is driven from within. Someone who is aggressive. In this world, nothing will be given to you. You need to go and grab what you believe to be yours. Not only aggressive, but also assertive. You're clear. What is it that I'm going for? Somebody who is skilled. Now, remember that question of what matters most? Is it experience or qualification? Is it the skills? You can get your skills from your qualifications. You can get your skills from your experience. But without skills, you're not going anywhere. The biggest divide between the successful and the not successful in the world of careers, it's about skills. Do you have the right skills? And finally, an individual who is self-assured, who is confident of himself, they will do as a they are so confident. It's all about confidence. Remember, we say that. So a badass pro is a bold, authentic, driven, aggressive, and skilled, and self-assured individual. 
If you join the Badass Pro program, this is our mantra. We say, I'm a Badass Pro. I define my own destiny. I create my own luck. I am confident but not cocky. Quiet but not silent. Competitive and aggressive. I take 100% responsibility. I never give up. That is our mantra in this program of being a badass pro. Now, if you join it today, what are you going to get? Number one, you're going to get six weeks of coaching, what we call badass pro six weeks coaching program. That is what you join. The value is about 100,000. This is not how much it costs. Yeah, please note, it is the value you get out of it. In the six weeks, this is what we will be coaching you about. Week number one, we will discuss how do you get started and become unstoppable? Because once we get you in the right frame of mind as you start off and you become unstoppable, that is what matters most. Week two, we look at how to get to know your worth. Like, do you know how much you should be paid right now? Because once we're able to determine your worth, then we can see how do we build up your worth. Week number three, we will coach you and discuss with you how to build confidence and competence. Because in this, uh, the whole uh, program, the thing is confidence and competence go hand in hand. The more competent you are, the more confidence you have. The more confidence you have, the more competent you are. I actually had this quote from Marcus Gabi who said, in this race of life, without confidence, you are defeated twice, right? Now, week number four, we will look at how do you master communication, influence, and networking. Remember, we said 85% of high-paying jobs are gotten through networking. Learning how to influence your way in the management is also very important. Week six, I uh, week five, I give you the tools that you need to track and evaluate your progress so you don't fall off five, ten years down the line, find yourself in the wrong career direction. And week number six, based on your skills, based on your industry, I teach you how do you negotiate a six figure salary. Now, on top of the six weeks coaching program, if you join today, you are also going to get one of our professional certification. Again, more than about hundred thousand. We have four main certifications project management, project monitoring and evaluation, strategic management and leadership, and we also have fundraising and resource mobilization. By the way, if you're wondering, how do I get a job with an NGO, with the UN, international organization? These are the skills they are looking for. And that is why we are giving you one of these certifications for free. They want people with skills in project management, project monitoring evaluation, fundraising and resource mobilization. If you want to go up the corporate ladder, Strategic management and leadership are very key lessons. So we'll give you this course absolutely free. It fixed coaching. You also get one of our professional certification and you also get professional CV writing. Now, there's a difference between a CV and a professional CV. Most of us have CVs, which is just a documentation of where you went to school, what you have done in the past, where you have worked, and a list of your responsibilities. But on the other hand, a professional CV, this is a document that you use to market yourself. And how you present it is very important. Yeah. Think about any company. They have a new product or even an existing product or service. They will use billboard, newspaper, television, radio, you name it, to advertise and to market their products. But you and me don't have the luxury of having a billboard about ourselves. So what do we do? We use a professional CV and we need to be clear what is it that we are selling. We are selling our skills, our capabilities, our qualification and our experience to the employer and how you put it across really matters. According to a very famous study, it is said that it takes about six seconds for a hiring manager to decide if they're going to read through your CV or not. The question is, does your CV pass the six second test? Yeah, I want you to take a look at this CV. This is one of the most common CV layout I've seen. I want to give you six seconds to look at it and answer the question because this is the question at the back of the hiring manager's mind. What can this person do? So when you look at it, this is Daniel Motuku, Kenyan, married, date of birth. What can this person do? Unfortunately, this part of the CV does not tell us anything about the capabilities of this person. Let's give them benefit of doubt and scroll down to his career objectives. Now, I'm about to show you some career objectives. I've picked this career objective from any CV. Some CVs, probably even yours. But the question is, does whatever I'm about to show you resemble the objectives in your CV in tone? And in style, or even word for word. I see this. I am seeking employment with a company where I can grow professionally and personally. Okay, good words, but still say nothing. As a matter of fact, this statement here, what can this person do? This person is very selfish. They are telling us what they want to gain from us rather than what they are bringing on board. 
I seek challenging and I'm seeking challenging. I'm seeking. I seek challenging opportunities where I can fully use my skills for the success of the organization. What can this person do? I want to succeed in a stimulus and challenging environment that will provide me with advancement opportunities. Again, being selfish, what you want to gain from them. I want to excel in this field with hard work, perseverance, and dedication. Good work, but still saying nothing. By the way, if you have this section in your CV, career objective, go get rid of it. It is not helping you to get a job in any way. Get rid of it. On top of the six weeks coaching, you get a professional certification. You also get professional CV writing, and you also get sample cover letters. Yeah? It's very important for you to have these sample cover letters because a cover letter is a very customized application letter that you use when you're applying for a specific job, yeah? So here, this is a um, job description I picked at random for an accountant. So if you're to get a job in this company, one of the roles that you will be doing would be to review and establish proper accounting systems, support budget and focusing activities, and also liars with internal and external auditors. Yeah, sounds, uh, maybe this is something that you can be able to do. If the answer is yes, then somewhere in your cover letter, you should have a statement that reads, I have the ability to review and establish proper accounting systems. In my previous employment at ABC, I was involved in liaising with internal and external auditors, such that when someone reads this, they feel like, yeah, this is the right person we are looking for. They're coming to do exactly what we want them to do, right? On top of the six weeks coaching, you get professional certification, you get professional CV writing, you get sample cover letters, and you get a LinkedIn profile guide. You see how much value you're getting out of this program? Yeah. In this day and age, you cannot afford not to have your LinkedIn profile optimized because that is where the recruiters and hiring managers are spending their time. Unlike your CV, which is in your flash disk, in the cloud, somewhere in your email, a LinkedIn profile guide is a living cv it is working for you even when you are asleep do you know that yeah so recruiters are looking at your profile what are they seeing if you have it very optimized you would be like she salim who dropped me an email and told me daniel i would like to thank you for your linkedin profile guide service after your guidance on how to make my linkedin account look more professional i have been approached by a potential employer and i am due for an interview on wednesday next week needless to say he got the job he wasn't looking for the job. The job was looking for him. Here's another one, Rose Green. Okay, I had nothing to do with this, but I asked for her permission and she said, yes, go ahead and share the post. She said, I posted my very first LinkedIn post to market myself for a job. I was not really sure whether I would eventually have a positive outcome from this, but I kept my head up high. I got called for interviews every day last week and this yielded me a job. Yes, guys, I have a job now. Courtesy of LinkedIn. On top of the six weeks coaching, you get professional certification, professional CV writing, sample cover letters, LinkedIn profile guide. We also add interview coaching. Why? Because we believe how you present yourself in an interview really matters. I have heard employers say that maybe someone has done a good application letter, they have a good CV, but when they come for the interview, that is what actually, that's where they lose their marks. You need to know what kind of questions to expect in an interview. 99.99% of the interviews you go, you will be asked, tell us about yourself. Do you know what to answer? Because how and what to say in that question will set pace for the rest of the interview. Other question to expect, how much should we pay you? I know most people really want to know how to answer that. Uh, people will want to know, they will ask you, why should we hire you? What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? You really need to think through. We'll take you through all those questions and how to answer. So in total, this is the whole package. If you decide to join the Badass Pro program, six weeks coaching, professional certification, professional CV writing, sample cover letters, LinkedIn profile guide, and interview coaching. So now that you know who being a Badass Pro is, my question to you is, are you ready to be a Badass Pro? If you're ready, drop in the chat. Actually, chat and say, I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you ready to be a Badass Pro? Say, I'm ready. That bold, authentic driven aggressive and assertive skilled and self-assured individual that is who a badass pro is so if you're ready to become a badass pro drop it in the chat and say yes i am ready i can see some thumbs up um there but i want you to confirm say yes i'm ready to be a badass pro 
I uh, hope you are ready. I can see hope is ready to become a badass pro. That is the bold, authentic, driven, and aggressive self. Uh, okay, who else is ready here? Let me check in the chat. Yeah. So I'm giving you time. Drop in the chat. Are you ready to become a badass pro? Yeah. That bold, authentic, driven, aggressive, skilled, and self-assured individual. Okay, now they are coming in. Yes, yes, yes. I can see someone here say, yes, I'm ready. Roxanne say, yes, I'm ready. Uh, Cash via, I'm ready. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, I'm ready. That is Joel Otiero. I can see Dorcas. Also, you say you're ready. Nelson, Nelly, so okay. Oh, yes, Evans. Uh, that is Evans Jukona. Okay, I can see they're coming. So many of them. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, let me pause then. Uh, continue here and say this. Yeah, I can see. Oh, so many of them. I'm ready. I'm ready. People are ready. So this is how you join. Yeah. I had two choices when I was thinking about how much should I charge for this program so that all these people who are ready can join. The first option I had was to go cheap and get as many people as as possible. I said, yeah, this would be a good thing. Yeah. I want hundreds and hundreds of people to join this program. And on the flip side, the other choice I had was to ask for a slightly higher investment and dedicate more time and effort to guarantee your success. And so I balance the two options that I say, let me go with the second option, whereby I will ask you this evening for a slightly higher investment in yourself. And this will make sure that I dedicate more time and effort to guarantee your success. Rather than have 100 people joining the program and they get frustrated, I better get 10 people. Actually, my target is to get 10 people so that I will dedicate my time and effort, hold your hand through the six weeks and make sure that you are successful. So. The cost for you to get the six weeks coaching is $24,999 and you can pay in three monthly installments of $9,999. This is Kenya shillings. If you are international, you can still be able to get the six weeks coaching, all the four certification, professional civil writing, LinkedIn, cover letter, everything for $249.99 US dollars. And you can pay in three monthly installments of $99.99 or using PayPal. Now, let me say this before we move on. Absolutely no excuse for you not to take action this evening because there is 100% money back guarantee. If you join the program, 30 days into the program, you don't get exactly what I have said you will get. Let me know. I will fund your money. No question asked. Are we okay? Now, you have two choices. The first choice you have to do is to do nothing and not take this leap of faith which is 100% risk-free. And the second option you have is to be open-minded and take up this small investment in yourself today and give it a shot. Between these two options, doing nothing and being open-minded and investing in yourself, what is going to be easy or easier for you? Don't drop it in the chat this time around. Yeah, just have it at the back of your head. Is that okay? Now, I have learned and from research, it is said that it takes 24 hours. Now, from a session like this, having learned a turn as you have done, you need to take action at least in the next 24 hours. If you don't take action in the next 24 hours, chances of you taking action thereafter <laughs> drops almost to zero. And taking action does not mean just paying for the program. Even going back to look at your CV, think about your LinkedIn profile. How do you write your cover letter? How do you answer question and interview? Please take action at least on something that I've shared with you this evening. There are two types of people in the one and also in this forum here. I'm about to get to your questions. Yeah. And the first kind of people, this type, those people who get an opportunity to change their lives, they agree with me with what I've shared, everything that I've shared with you. They actually can see how it is applicable in their lives. And guess what? They do nothing about it. And the second type of people are those who take action and define their own futures. Between these two types of people, those who do nothing. And those who take action. Which type are you? Don't drop in the chat. Have it in your head, yeah? So if you want to get in touch with me, my email is daniel at careerpoint.co.ke. If you want to know more about the Badass Pro program, just head over to careerpoint.co.ke forward slash badass. Is that okay? I want to answer now any question. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One more thing before I even move on. I want to say this. I want to give you an opportunity to get the six weeks of coaching plus all the four certifications. Yes. You get to join the Badass Pro, and all you need to do is at least one installment of either 
9,999 Kenya shillings through the till number 5771-5732, or you can pay through PayPal. If you make that deposit tonight before 9 p.m., we have about 30 minutes, yeah? I want you to make that payment. You will join the Partners Pro program, and on top of that, you will get all these four certifications. That is the bonus that I'm giving you. Now, this is an offer that I'm opening up until Sunday midnight. But if you pay between after 9 p.m. to Sunday midnight, because you want to start the coaching on Monday, you will only get one of the certification. But if you pay today, tonight, you will be able to get all this. And on top of that, you will also get a T-shirt. Let me reboot this for a minute and say this so that you can see me quite. You will get yourself a notebook written, I am a badass pro. And on top of that, you will also get a t-shirt saying that I am a badass pro. Yes. So on an evening like this, I presented this offer and some very strong individuals decided to join us. And this is what they get. As you can see, this is Helen all the way in Kitui. This is Eunice in Bungoma, Scholastica in Kikuyu. This is Winfred in Nap um, Kiambu, Clara in Nairobi West, I think Winnie in Gikiri, this is Margaret in is it Katondo, Francis in Mombasa, and so many other people on an evening like this decided to take action and they joined this program. I want you to give you an opportunity right now, make that first deposit of 9,999 through the TIL number 715732. Get all the four courses. This is for the people who do it now. And I'll actually wait. I'll ask my, once you pay, just drop that in the chat and say you're paying. If you're paying internationally, you can use PayPal. Let me know. I'm dropping the link for you to pay through PayPal in the chat shortly. Is that okay? Now, I, I, I don't leave yet. Yeah? I, I want to teach you some stuff. Yeah. I can see there's a question here. Um, what is the equivalent of the money in uh, Nigerian currency? Please, if you use the conversion for the US dollar, this will be the best. Yeah. So if you can convert to US dollar, it will be easier for anyone irrespective of the country that they are in. They can easily convert. Yeah. Now, let me say this. I have some few more slides that I want to teach you on. Please don't go. If you have any questions, I will also, uh, let me pull this on this. I'm going to give you a link in the chat shortly that you're going to join me on Zoom. If you have a one-on-one -on -one question, I'll have people who want some clarification, like how do I pay if I'm in Nigeria? How do I pay if I'm in a different country? We don't have PayPal. We don't have M-Pesa. How do I pay? So I'm going to give you a link. Don't leave yet. Yeah, I'll give you a link. Join me on Zoom so that we can have that one-on-one -on -one conversation. So as we proceed, I want to uh, say this. Yeah. I learned this from Warren Buffett. He said that the best investment you can ever have is to invest in yourself. True story. For every shilling, for every dollar you invest in yourself today, you will re, um, you will have is about thirty shillings, thirty dollars return over time. That is a three thousand percent return on investment. Where else do you get a three thousand percent return on investment? Not in real estate, not in stock market. Only when you invest in yourself. I learned this from Brian Tracy, and it's called the ten ten rule. And this is where you get the money to fund your personal development. We have been brought up in a society where we take about 10% of our income and we tithe it. We use it to help other people. I put it to you. Why not take another 10% of your income and tithe it to yourself? Use it to fund your own personal development because that is where you are going to get the highest return on investment. This is an opportunity for you to invest in yourself. Get the six weeks of coaching. Get all the four certifications. Get the CV writing, cover letters, LinkedIn interview. Just make that fast deposit right now. Do the till number 715732. Okay, I'm being told someone has paid. At least we have one person joining. Good. Maybe nine more to go. As I told, I want only 10. If you want to pay, if you're international, you can pay through PayPal. That is the link. By the way, let me pause here. I want to get that link and put it in the chat so that if you're following on you can pay through paypal uh here is the link but if you check on youtube but i've also posted as part of the description of the video but there we go i'll put that link wherever you are you can click on it go pay the first installment and get all the four courses right away is that okay 
good if you have any question also feel free to uh, put that in the chat yeah if you have any question now this this is the name i got from one of the people this is lucy who went through the training program this is what she had to say yeah i can uh, dear daniel i cannot be grateful enough for your badass pro training that came with a professionally made cv and sample cover letters in a span of two months i have managed to get four interviews from very reputable international ngos such as hillary and one acre among others with my new CV and cover letter samples that I customized to suit various positions, I am now confident to apply for jobs in the UN agencies. And honestly, I am hopeful and confident that that is my next employer. For quite a long, I hadn't been receiving interview invitations. It's no longer the case now anymore. Thanks a lot. And God bless you for the good work and always being ready to help. If this is the testimony you want to be selling to me, see yourself instead of seeing Lucy there, see yourself there. You can get the value. How would you feel if you are passed on a promotion because you did not have the right skills? Remember, we said skills are the things that really define or make people successful or not. What if you're passed on a big, uh, you're the person next to you gets a big break just because they understood networking, they knew how to work the network, and you didn't? It's not a very good feeling, right? But on the flip side, how would you feel if this time next year you're debt-free, you're living in your dream home and planning your next vacation? Would that be good? That is only possible if you take action right now. Yeah, join one, two more people have paid. Thank you. I think the number is closing very close. Yeah, join them right now through the till number 715732. Make that first deposit of 9999 join the badass school program get the six weeks of coaching get all the four get the uh, certification cv writing you name it if you're international just pay through paypal i've put in the link but if you can't pay right now join me shortly on zoom i'll give you the details my personal details on how you can be able to send the money is that okay uh let me see if i can see some questions here okay sorry uh Okay, thank you for your time. Uh, that is Rhoda. I appreciate any other question. There's a question here. Will the training be uploaded on your channel? Yes, it will be on the channel, but I hope you take action right now. Uh, I can see I'm out there. Thanks for your time. I thought it would be uh, training. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Who else? Uh, there's another question here. Um, okay, there's no question. Let me do this here yeah? as I finish up. I learned this from uh, this is Jim Rohn, one of my mentors, and he said, "Do not evaluate something based on its cost. Always evaluate something based on its worth." If you're thinking this program is too expensive, you just think about the cost. But what? What is it worth? You staying in that job that you don't like, you remaining jobless, you not really getting your to your full potential. That is what it is costing you not joining this program. Yeah, and I believe you guys, you have big goals, right? I want to challenge you. Let the size of your goal be equal to the size of the investment that you invest in yourself, because that is what is going to make the biggest difference. Is that okay? Invest in yourself today. This is your opportunity. Make that first deposit of 9,999 Kenya shillings. You get all the four certifications. If you pay later on tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, well and good, but you only get one. Or if you are you international, use that link. Now, two things, E to E ratio. I learned that the highest, the most successful people in our society, they spend 95% of their time in education and only 5% in entertainment. And the bigger majority spend 95% of their time in entertainment on facebook on link or the instagram yeah linkedin you can be there but also you can be learning nothing wrong with linkedin instagram and all that that is still entertainment but you can spend that time learning these are all these are online courses that you can be able to use even your commute time to learn as you commute this is the opportunity get all the six weeks the six weeks coaching 
on the four certification that is project management, monetary evaluation, we have fundraising, resource mobilization, and strategic management and leadership. Drop that first deposit. Join the, uh, I think there were three now. Yeah. Time is running out. Yeah. The till number, go Lipa 9 Pesa, buy goods and services, till number 71573232, and put it 9,999. So, this is the last thing I want to finish. And uh, then I'll give you the link for you to join me on uh, Zoom shortly. So, please don't leave yet. Yeah. I came to learn this, and it's very true. You will never be 100% ready when an opportunity strikes or when an opportunity shows up. So, what do we do? Just do it. Just do it. Because you will never be ready. That is something I want to assure you. And if you're feeling fear, yeah, fear, your greatest fear carries your greatest good. It's a good thing. If you're feeling fearful, should I invest? Should I not? Let me tell you, that's a good thing. That's a good sign. You know why? The fear is just an indication from your body that you're about to do something that is outside your comfort zone. You're not used to this. You haven't done this before. So it, re it, it interprets that as death. It's a life-death situation. That's why you're feeling fear. You want to freeze. Is it flight, flight, fight, freeze mode? Yeah, you don't know what to do. The fear is good. It's an indication you're about to do something outside your comfort zone. And this is how to do it. If you're in your comfort zone, you're feeling safe, you're feeling in control. And what is happening there? Low risk, low reward. But on the flip side, you have been presented with this opportunity and that pushes you to the fear zone. And that is why I know most of you are feeling a little bit fearful, right? In the fear zone, you have low self-confidence. You're not sure about yourself, right? Uh, where is my mouse? Here. You are feeling a little bit low on self-confidence. You're looking for excuses. Oh, this program is too expensive. Oh, I wish I knew about this last week. Oh, what? Just looking for excuses. You're affected by other people's opinions. What would other people say about me? That I just came, I found this guy online, I paid. They will think I'm a fool. So you are in this section, you're in the fear zone, which is okay, but you have to make a decision. Will you push to forward and get to the learning zone where you get to face new challenges, you solve problems, you acquire new skills, the partners pro skills, the project management, monitor evaluation, you extend your comfort zone and then get to the growth zone where you find your purpose, you live your dreams, you set new goals, you conquer your objectives. You are here, two choices. Either retreat back to your comfort zone, everything is okay, or push past your fear zone and get to the learning zone and the growth zone. I think it is up to you to decide. That's all I have to for you this evening. Your chance to push yourself to the learning zone is just making that first deposit. Join our three members of Ready through the till number 715732, only 9,999 or 99.99 US dollars through the link on PayPal. Yeah, this is a certificate you'll get. Uh, this Imagine your name right there saying this person has been formally evaluated and assessed for demonstrating knowledge and skills in monitoring and evaluating, monitoring and evaluating projects. He can be able to use result-based management results and has been awarded a certificate in project monetary evaluation. Would that be great? Okay. When we started, I asked you these two questions and you said yes. Yeah. Will you let me be your coach? You said yes. Will you let me be your, uh, to tell you the hard truth? And you said yes. If I've done a good job, I want to believe I've done a good job doing this. So I want to ask you a question. Will you let this be the end of this coaching relationship? Or do you want it to be the beginning? Right? You can drop that in the chat. Have I done a good job telling you the truth about it? If so, do you want it to be the end? Or do you want it to be the beginning of this coaching relationship? If the answer is yes, join the program. Let us start from there. If no, probably we can meet uh, some other time. You want this to end? Uh, let it be. So in the chat also, I have dropped this link. If you want to join me, on zoom join me on zoom right now so that we can be able to answer the question i can see somebody here saying yes i want this to be the beginning thank you very much thank you very much oh i'm happy join me on zoom i can answer any question join this program and start off very well yeah do you want this to be the beginning or the end of this coaching relationship have i done a good job telling you the truth telling you uh coaching you and giving you the guidance i'm happy to do that 
So I know on LinkedIn, you might not be able to get that link directly. So I have also posted that is the meeting ID 8599007582. The passcode is salary. Just type in the word salary to be the passcode. Join me on Zoom right now. By the way, oh, I need to open my Zoom here so that I can answer any specific questions that you might be having. But I want to believe I've done a good job. By the way, I want you to drop in the chat. Do you want this to be the end of this coaching relationship or do you want it to be the beginning? If it is the beginning, the next logical step would be to join me in this uh, program. So let me open on Zoom. Is that okay? Uh, as it opens, this is your last chance, yeah? That's the till number 715732. Go ahead and make that fast deposit. Oh, so many people are saying, yeah, they want it to be the beginning. Okay, yes. I can see you saying yes. Oh, this uh, Opina, Opina, hopefully I pronounce it okay. You're saying yes, you want this to be the beginning. Salary is the passcode, yeah? That is the passcode. Yeah? I can see someone here saying yes. Uh, you want uh, to pay in installments, yes. Join me in the Zoom. Yeah, thank you. Oh, let me pull again the Zoom details. Use that ID or you can click the link. Uh, let me put the link again in the chat. I know people who are using Zoom might not be able, uh, not Zoom, LinkedIn, you will not get the link, but join me there. Am I on? Okay, yeah, I can see someone has joined already. Good. Give me a minute. Uh, those who have joined already on uh, Zoom, give me a minute and we get started. Yeah. So I think that is it. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I am happy that I have been here to serve you. I want to believe I've done a good job. I'm giving you the last time pay. We still have about 20 more minutes to have the opportunity to join the Badass Pro. I'm really happy it has been a great session. Ladies and gentlemen, we are good. Can you join me? Let me just confirm that we have a good quorum on Zoom. Join me on Zoom. I will answer jo uh, John Mwale. Um, uh, yes, we can pay in installments. Yeah, join me on Zoom, then we can be able to answer the questions. Yeah, and um, because I know not everyone will be comfortable typing in their question and knowing all that, but it has been a lovely evening. I would want to say I really feel good that I have been able to serve you. By the way, if you're there, still there before you join on uh, Zoom, I just want to know have you learned something? Have you understood? Uh, have you gotten uh, something what, what what would you say something that you have picked that you have spent the last one hour i can see it's one hour 12 minutes so far and gotten something yeah i think that is it good uh i can see somebody on um zoom i will close it and until next time ladies and gentlemen i'm out